everyone, it's Julie Murphy. Today I'd like to show you how I use the Dime Snap Hoop Monster on my brother, Dream Machine. The one I'm using today is the LM2, which is specifically made for brother and baby lock. Um, the LM2 is an 8x8. Eight eight. So let's get started. So the first thing I do with my hoop is you remove the plastic. And I have actually put a little bit of um, double-sided sticky tape around my hoop just as an extra hold. You can see mine's kind of messy from using it. Let me show you how I remove some of that messiness. I take a baby wipe, the non-alcoholic baby wipes, and I just rub on them just a bit just to get rid of some of that paper. I check to make sure they're still sticky and they seem to be. So today I'm using the Wet n' Gone Tacky Pressure Sensitive Water Soluble Stabilizer on the bottom. Um, this one's made by Floriani. I just use a paper towel holder and label them and then I stick the information up inside so that I have, have it when I need it. So the next thing I do, there's a, a fabric -y side and then there's the paper side. I moved my hoop out of the way, the bottom hoop, and here is my top hoop, which has the grid that you apply to it. Um, again, I've got sticky stuff, sticky tape on it. I'm going to take my stabilizer and lay it flat and get my top hoop stuck to it before I get ready to do to get it stuck to the bottom hoop. And there you go. Now that is all set up um, and ready for me to open it up. Let me show you how I open and make this side sticky. I just make an X. And then after an X, I just take the, I just remove these. And what we're left with is just the sticky surface. So the next thing we're going to do is mark our towel. So here's our towel and my design is 4.75 wide and 4.89 high. Now what I try to do is I try to stay under at least 4.9 when I'm working on a towel just so that I have a little bit of a border. When I mark the towel I'm working with this bottom band and I like to have it just a little bit above the band, maybe about a half inch. So from there, I'm going to mark, I had said it was 4.89, so I'm going to leave, if I'm working with the 4.75 mark on our ruler, and I want to leave at least a half inch, then the top of my design will be here, and the bottom of my design will be about here. The design is 4.75 wide, and my towel is about 5.5. So I'm going to take half of five and a half, which would give me just a, right around two and three quarters. And so what I do at this point is I make sure that I use this bottom band and I mark all the way across. It looks like I have it, the bottom of my design about an inch up. And then I go ahead and from there I make the top of my mark. And then, following that same thing using the bottom band, which is a great way to keep everything level. And then I make my mark. So we have our center line. And what we're going to do before we put it onto the hoop is we're going to make sure, we're going to recheck one more time. And remember I had said that the design is four point it's approximately 4.9 so it's very close to 5 inches um, and what we're going to do is mark the two and a half mark on our towel and again we're using this bottom band on our towel and we're going to just draw our line and that is our center line and this will help us when we go to put it onto our hoop so here we are back at the hoop and I have my marks you want to know where it's going to attach to the machine. 
I'm going to just place the plastic piece back on the hoop. This just helps so the towel doesn't start sticking right away. And I'm going to use my marks that are on my hoop to help with lining up my towel. Take the plastic piece out and set it aside. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that. It's a little off-center, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. The only thing else that I would do is make sure that it is straight top and bottom on our hoop. So I'm actually using a, a sulky Super Solvy water-soluble stabilizer that I'm going to lay on top of it. And I measure it out. And we are ready to start stitching. The next video will actually be how to actually tack this down and how to realign your design. So join me for video two.